What's up besties? Today I wanted to once again show you the scary world of the super advanced uh, AI. Um, it gets better and better in imitating your secondary school friends' Facebook posts full of some quotes and personal details nobody cares about. Uh, who knows, maybe someday this lovely girl texts you something like uh, so yeah, once again we are visiting parts of New York, a parody of Humans of New York, where all the faces and captions are computer generated, this time focusing on just their Instagram because I got logged out of my Facebook profile and don't know how to get it back. And also I'm going to draw some stuff inspired by the images from that profile. This fashion icon, for example, I considered drawing with the four eyebrow face on the jacket. Uh, but he's too perfect for me to touch, okay? Well, I wouldn't expect this person to be generated by computer. Um, honestly, I feel like this profile just turns me into a mean person because despite me spending hours drawing, let's be honest, um, my main job here is just to laugh at these people's stupid faces. Um, my mother was a witch who let fly whenever she drank sparkling wine. On the night of my sweet 16, she completely lost the plot. She started with a glass of Prosecco, then a bottle of champagne. Um, she kept drinking, then got really drunk and started groaning while she watched pedestrians get hit by cars. When I tried to get her to come home, she shouted, My name is Jennifer Lopez and I'm a single mom. I shrugged in confusion. She shouted, It's a meme, you dipshit wannabe bridezilla. Get the fuck up to my level. I shrugged in confusion. And I was like, whatever, thanks for giving me the benefit of the doubt. It was a constant struggle. The fuck is struggle? Okay, so the Urban Dictionary says A struggle is a sexy little waistcoat with a big hood just for girls. It is best worn with nothing underneath. Uh, struggle is a word and thing I invented, so that is why you have never heard of it before. It is called a struggle because it is shaped like a shrug, but when you wear it, it feels like a cuddle. Okay, so now everything makes sense. Uh, except it doesn't, but let's just run with it. I don't know what else my shrug will be. <laughs> my condolences to all the pedestrians that got hit by cars. Uh, I think we should just cancel Jennifer Lopez uh, for not helping them. As for the drawing, I went for something simple, just a flowery portrait. I took the color palette made mainly from the flower that was ingrown into the character's skin. Honestly, I just wanted to make something simple for the first one. I hope she looks cute, like with those flowers. Um, honestly, I feel like she's a little boring comparing her to the other ones. Like a old doll, maybe? I don't know, she's not ugly. It's not really what I usually like to make.
No, this is the face of the future. Wait, this? Oh, okay, here it is. Very, really awesome. I mean, okay, computer, you can't trick me here. This is not a real person, right? Right? I'm a perfectionist in the worst way. My name is Alex. Okay, but why the fuck are you screaming at me? Well, to be more exact, make me scream because it's all capital letters. Um, excuse you. And I'm here to steal thunder. If I ever fall short of my dreams, it's kind of the end of the line for the rest of the world. Well, it got dark in, in the end. Um, is this a threat? Should we be scared of this guy? <laughs> is it some sort of official confirmation that the Elon Musk's robots plan on ending the humanity? Um, coming back to the post, um, it's a very short one. I feel like those from Facebook were longer, but maybe that's for better. Maybe my small human brain that couldn't that couldn't remember my Facebook password isn't capable of understanding the complex um, mathematical robot thoughts. Um, so here I wait, went a little while, you know, I had a while to source material. I wanted to make more monster-like creatures since I just have a piece of face that got clipped onto some bubble on the Christmas tree. So I went for the similar art, art style to the one from my zombie clown. I imagined the creatures would be rather small, like, you know, the bubble size. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Mike, uh, I don't remember how they pronounce Wazowski in the original version. Wazowski? Maybe? It sounds stupid. I sh sorry, I should have googled it before I started recording. Uh, honestly, throughout most of my life I was just convinced that if I hear a Polish name in a foreign piece of media, I, it's probably just translated like this, so... The knowledge that, I don't know, Kowalski is just Kowalski in the original cartoon feels a little odd. Um, but yeah, mm. Mike Wazowski, uh, you know, he's kind of similar to my character, except he's like, has one gigantic eye and a small mouth. And Mike has a gigantic mouth and small eyes, rather small eyes. It didn't have eyes on the, you know, um, the what's of New York version, but um, yeah, I figured I might just add some so that the nostrils don't look like their eyes because the nostrils are the nostrils. Um, and I think it looks scarier with eyes. But um, yeah, I went for that neon style with no dark colors. Uh, one thing I want to explain because I thought it looks obvious in my thumbnail sketch I've made just for myself, but I don't think it does in the final drawing is that um, the original Alex dude had mustache and now I didn't want to give my monster mustache because uh, that would look even more stupid than he already does. But I wanted to have this moustache somewhere there, like, symbolized, so I gave it a tail, and the tail is kind of shaped like a moustache, if that makes sense.
<laughs> What is that? I mean, you can laugh, you can、uh, cry, but you need to just accept that this is just how people of the future will look like. Just you need to accept this, you need to live with this fact. I'm sorry for informing you.、Um, I'm replacing my Botox with stem cells because that's the most calming option. Would it even work? I don't think it would. Do we have that technology? <laughs> Sounds kind of cute, my bad, you know. No. Stem cell means less inflammation, more comfort, less pain. It's been spiking for me recently. There was a nice spike in my endorphins when my daughter was born. I don't know. Maybe stem cell. Then again, maybe it's Botox. I don't know. Well, congratulations on having a daughter,、um, ma'am. So once again, I'm doing a face that was half cooked under the sky. This time,、uh, instead of focusing on the sky, I'm focusing on it being split in half. When it comes to the choice of colors. I didn't really realize until I was quite deep deep into this project that I just stole them from the Ukrainian flag, but I think it looks good anyway. <laughs> I really like vibrant colors, and those are definitely vibrant.、Um, I think this may be my favorite one out of these three. I don't know. I don't think I have much to say about it,、um, or much of explaining to do. Like what was my Thought process. I just, I just like it. I, I think it looks cute.、Um, so yeah, that's all I've made、uh, this time. Honestly, one reason why I think we love Boston, New York. I love Boston, New York at least. That's、um, is how funny the faces are, and you know they pose as well. And they are funny because they are not realistic. But if you look at other sources, like this person does not exist website that creates truly realistic images of people, or what's like a thi- thousand times worse,、uh, some deepfake programs. I actually considered making a video on that that can be used to fake videos, and as far as I'm aware, are already used sometimes to put many women's faces on. Porn films. It isn't that funny anymore. And while bettering this technology has lots of possible potential in the future in creating art,、um, it can also be used for terrible things like I don't know, faking crime evidence.、Um, so yeah,、uh, let's just stick to what we know is or is not real and have fun. With that for now, which may be harder than it sounds. I mean, how do you know that I'm real? Have you ever seen me in person? I may just be a deepfake voice program reading of a script prepared by another program to push an agenda of. Oh look at this fun technology! As far as you know. But I think that's all I wanted to say now.、Um, if you、uh, have any opinions on like the whole、uh, AI creating stuff、uh, subject or like what I've created here,、um, you can any advice maybe, any、uh, propositions of what we can do in in the future. I would love it if you left. Leave them in the comment section down below.、Um, but for now, just stay safe,、uh, stay hydrated, and peace.